Welcome to Two Doctors Homestead. My name is Daniel and this is Prepper Pantry and today we're looking at digital pressure canning or pressure canning in general. This is a Presto digital pressure canner. Um, we really like it. I like this canner not just because it's easy to use but it's electrical. Um, it says it's 1400 watts. I haven't really measured it out but the advantage is we can run this on our solar system. We have a solar backup system so it works off grid right and I realize a regular pressure canner um, you could set up a campfire and still do your canning there but this is very simple as I said it doesn't require a lot of firewood um, in, a, in a grid down off grid scenario you just plug it into your solar 1400 watts um, for what we're doing right now it's only running for about 20 minutes so you're talking maybe 400 watts of power so I haven't tested it um, but we like to have that option, right, is it's a great pressure canner in regular situations, anytime you want to preserve your food, and certainly the more food you can preserve, the less you're wasting, um, and generally you're going to find you save money uh, by preserving your foods, by creating your own, basically your own canned goods at home, right, it's home canning, I know these glass jars, but they're canning jars. Um, at $300, it's a lot cheaper than a freeze dryer. Um, now, of course, a freeze dryer, once you freeze dried something, you can get a 25 year, 30 year shelf life, whatever it is. This isn't that, but it does become shelf stable and it could be good for years, depending on how you store it and what you're putting in, assuming you've canned it well. So this is a broth that we've made. Um, we, create, we, we cooked up some uh, corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day and you know you boil it in a big pot and when you take the meat and cabbage out you've got a big pot of broth. Right? And since we had the canning jars and we have the pressure canner for you, why not can it as a broth and preserve that? So there's a lot of nutrients and really great flavor in the broth. We can pressure can it, make it shelf stable, and then use that later. So you could use the broth in any recipe where you would normally use water. Um, if you're doing rice and beans or something like that, you could use the broth in that. You could use it in bread, soups, um, even ramen noodles. If you're making ramen noodles, you could bust out a can of your broth. So it's a great way to, to preserve food, to, to waste less food. As I said, this might normally just go down the sink, right? You've, you've eaten your corned beef and cabbage. You're maybe not thinking about the broth that was left behind and it's, it's got a ton of great flavor in it so definitely recommend if you can a, a pressure canner um, if you've got solar a digital pressure canner is a great addition simply because you can you can run it off your solar backup so in any situation you can continue to preserve your foods and really with a pressure canner I mean we're doing broth right now but you can do you can do a lot of things you can do meats and you can do sauces and long list of things you can do with a pressure canner and it makes it shelf stable so that has a lot of advantages not having to use that freezer space all the time so thank you for watching and we appreciate you